Now you might re uh, remember our coverage of the universe's first Martian helicopter. This was back in the 2020. Ingenuity took our understanding of flight here on Earth to another planet. And today we have some disappointing news. The aircraft is damaged beyond repair. NBC4's Gordon Tokumatsu was at JPL when that announcement came down. Think of it as a one-of-a-kind drone, unmanned, able to fly and hover, equipped with cameras. Only, as this animation shows, the drone was piloted from 140 million miles away and flew in an atmosphere 100 times less dense than Earth's. We are here to celebrate something extraordinary. On an audio briefing just hours ago, NASA scientists say Ingenuity's last mission on Mars took place on January 18th, a short vertical flight 40 feet above the surface, hovering for four and a half seconds. Then, unexpectedly, it lost contact with its rover partner, Perseverance, which was nearby on the planet's surface. We're very, uh, we're very methodical before we start jumping to conclusions. Um, and, and thankfully, that uh, paid off. But when teams here at JPL reestablished contact days ago, the news was not good. Photos showed damage to one of the rotor blades that kept ingenuity aloft in Mars's extremely thin atmosphere. Today, NASA announced the damage was too great for the mission to continue. We're investigating the possibility that the blade struck the ground. Ingenuity proved that a helicopter, just like the ones we have here at home, could literally fly on Mars, an aviation and space exploration first. NASA engineers liken it to the Wright brothers' first powered airplane flight 121 years ago. Designed only to perform five flights over 30 days, it ended up flying 14 times farther. As its mission comes to an unexpected end, though, its contribution to our understanding of what flight on Mars will look like in the future is extremely valuable. We have aircraft theory here on Earth, but we've never tested it at Mars before, right? We now have. So some disappointment here at JPL today that Ingenuity's mission is officially over, but also excitement about future helicopter missions to Mars. At JPL, Gordon Tokumatsu, NBC4 News.